Hello guys, how is it going? It's Igo Fraga here and as we are preparing for the round 6 of the Nations Cup I will be doing the hot lap guide um, on the Nürburgring GP track using a GR4 car more precisely uh, the Alfa Romeo 4C um, as I'm going to use this car for the race because it seems to be quite strong um, I'll be using for you know uh, doing the practice as well and for the um, for the hot lap guide too so yeah let's uh, head to the track so we are already here ready for the lap for this part here I'm not going to say anything yet because I'll be explaining it later on the lap but yeah uh, just one tip when you are starting this kind of qualifying hot lap make sure that you have a good exit on the last corner so you are not losing any time on the main straight line it's pretty simple but it's very useful as well so going to the first corner on the left side when the curb is starting is the breaking point make sure that you hit the apex and then when you're hitting the apex you want to also start to apply the throttle to stabilize the car for the second corner it's just a lift you'll be controlling only by your throttle application and then for this one it's quite a earlier apex than you think but stay tight just a little lift to make sure that you are not going too wide and then first sector is done going to the second sector just one one down shift make sure you stay on the middle of the track to not struggle too much on this hairpin use all the track carry as much as speed, speed as possible to not lose any time on those straight lines when this uh, silver patch starting on the left hand side you'll be braking third gear I found out better to keep the stability of the car I didn't like it much to uh, have the v-shape on that corner because it you know as we are using the group 4 it doesn't have much horsepower and there on the chicane just flat out here brake on the green part start use the curb here fourth gear also to stabilize better the car just a little brake here don't upset too much the car otherwise otherwise it will it will create some oversteer on the entry and it will make you you know lose a lot of speed on this big straight line and here basically brake on the 100 meter board third gear be quite aggressive on those curbs heading towards the last corner do it quite 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 close quite tight and uh, yeah this will be the complete lap guide of the Nürburgring GP um, the lap time was decent 2011 but uh, for sure it's uh, there is a lot of room for improvement so yeah keep practicing guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for watching